Well, now that the Dana Open has wrapped up, all eyes are going to be turned towards Fifth Third Field downtown as the Mud Hens return home. And returning in the studio with us today, Matt Melzack, voice of the fish and the hens. So <laughs> thankful that you're joining us. Hey, thanks, Carly. Great to be here as always. Looking forward to a home week for the Mud Hens. Exactly. And it's crazy to think that July is going by so fast. We're already halfway through the month, and the hens have not recorded a series victory this month. Kind of what do they need to do to change that outcome? You know, I think. Uh, what, you know, the last team they actually won a series against was Lehigh Valley. That's the team they're playing this week at Fifth Third Field. Uh, but you know what? They played well enough to win the series against Louisville the last time they were at home, right before the All-Star break, dropped that final game, ended up uh, splitting that series three games apiece, uh, played well enough to win a couple of those games in Buffalo. Just didn't happen for them this past weekend. So they're close. I think, I think what's going to need to happen is you, you've got to see that starting rotation that's been in flux a lot is going to have to come through with some good outings uh, for the Toledo Mud Hens. Give them an opportunity to get that offense going and get ahead in some games. That's part of the problem, that falling behind early, it gets very hard to dig yourself out of holes against, you know, you're playing against good teams and a lot of guys that, you know, could be in the major leagues at the drop of a hat, they, they all have good stuff too. It's hard to always come from behind. You, you've got to get some leads and hold on to them. Now two guys that could help this offense get that lead, Justin Henry Malloy and Parker Meadows. Just a tandem, especially when it comes to home runs. 28 combined this season. What has been so special about watching those two? You know, and it's been different the way they've gone about it, Carly. I mean, you saw Justin Henry Malloy. He took the ground running right at the start of the season, had that monster April into May, and then kind of tailed a little bit into June, starting to pick it back up again here in July, where Parker Meadows has been on the other side of the coin. Slow out of the gate in April and May, but now getting into the warmer months, and he's heated up a lot. Now, he's had to jump out of that top spot a little bit when we had rehabbers down, uh, you know, get those guys more at bats. But when he's in that leadoff spot, he's been destructive. And, you know, a 350 batting average when hitting leadoff this year. So uh, he's a guy that has really found a role and a niche, and it's working for him, and that's why he's, you know, continuing to pound the baseball. And you mentioned getting out to that early start kind of has been the difference for this team. What do they need to do in this series to achieve that? I, I think it's I think it starts obviously with getting that offense going early, but I, I also mentioned it the fact that you gotta you gotta give a little bit for that starting staff has got to give you some time. They get they need to be able to get through those first three, four innings, put a zero on the board, let this offense kind of start to get some runs on the board. And then when you do, you've got to add on. That's the other part of it. The Mud Hens have had some games where they have jumped in front they haven't been able to put those add-on runs on the board you get that you know instead of leading it two nothing maybe you're leading four or five six nothing now all of a sudden you know the other team is pressed to try to come back and it becomes very difficult no matter who you run out there out of your bullpen so uh you know it's add-on runs it's getting those early leads and being able to maybe tack on a little bit Okay, now for the hard-hitting question. The last time we saw you and Jim Weber in the booth, you had the Hawaiian-style Margaritaville <laughs> weekend shirts. This week, it's Christmas in July. What can we expect to see? Oh, boy. Well, <laughs> there's only one part of our team that is old enough to portray Santa. I'm not going <laughs> to say it's me. Uh, but, yes, uh, you know, I mean, who knows what we're going to see this week. It's possible we may even have Santa on the set <laughs> this weekend. Okay, Carly, are there any uh, like last-minute ideas you need me to pass along? I think it would be really awesome to see Jim with the Santa hat and the beard. I think that's <laughs> something that we should get for the broadcast. <laughs> I, 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 you might be right, and perhaps we could get that done for this weekend. It'd be a lot of fun, though, uh, you know, kind of a Christmas in July feeling. Uh, this weekend, I mean, the Margaritaville was phenomenal. We had great That's crowds all weekend. I expect to see that again this week, Christmas in July. And we'll put in that small request that you had, Carly. I hope we see that. Mudhead's <laughs> taking on the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs starting on Tuesday. Best of six game series. We'll have your highlights and reactions here at Sports Nightly. Thanks for joining us, Matt. Thank you, Carly.